IFRS 6 Exploration for Evaluation of Mineral Resources Effective Date Periods Beginning on or After 1st January 2006 Scope An entity applies IFRS 6 to exploration and evaluation expenditures that it incurs. An entity that does not apply FRS 6 to expenditures incurred before the exploration for and evaluation of mineral resources such as expenditures incurred before the entity has obtained the legal rights to explore a specific area. After the technical feasibility and commercial viability of extracting our mineral resources are demonstrable. Presentation An entity classifies exploration and evaluation assets as tangible or intangible according to the nature of the assets acquired and applies to the classification consistently. Measurement at recognition At recognition, exploration and evaluation assets are measured at cost. Elements of cost of exploration and evaluation assets. An entity determines an accounting policy specifying which expenditures are recognized as exploration and evaluation assets. The following are examples of expenditures that might be included in the initial measurement of exploration and evaluation assets. Acquisition of rights to explore topographical, geological, geochemical, and geophysical studies, exploratory drilling, trenching. Measurement after recognition. After recognition, an entity applies either the cost model or the revaluation model to the exploration and evaluation assets. Refer to IS-16 Property, Plant and Equipment and IS-38 Intangible Assets for Guidance. Changes in Accounting Policy Optional Exemptions An entity may change its accounting policies for exploration and evaluation expenditures if the change makes the financial statements more relevant and no less reliable to the economic decision-making needs of users or more reliable and no less relevant to those needs. Disclosure An entity discloses information that identifies and explains the amounts recognized in its financial statements arising from the exploration for and evaluation of mineral resources. An entity discloses its accounting policies for exploration and evaluation expenditures and evaluation assets, amounts of assets, liabilities, income and expense, and operating and investing cash flows arising from the exploration for and evaluation of mineral resources. Exploration and evaluation assets are disclosed as a separate class of assets in the disclosures required by IAS-16 Property, Plant and Equipment or IAS-38 Intangible Assets. Impairment One or more of the following facts and circumstances indicate that an entity should test exploration and evaluation assets for impairment. The period for which the entity has the right to explore in the specific area has expired during the period or will expire in the near future and is not expected to be renewed. Substantive expenditure on further exploration for and evaluation of mineral resources in the specific area is neither budgeted nor planned. Exploration for and evaluation of mineral resources in the specific area have not led to the discovery of commercially viable quantities of mineral resources and the entity has decided to discontinue such activities in a specific area. Sufficient data exists to indicate that although 
a development in the specific area is likely to proceed the carrying amount of the exploration and evaluation assets is unlikely to be recovered in full form successful development or by sale thank you